Hey guys, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead. Today we are in the kitchen and I'm doing something totally new that I've never done before. So quick disclaimer, this is not a how-to video. I've never done this before. Don't really know what I'm doing, but I've done research. So I figured I'd bring you guys along and we can see how this goes together. This is what we're got to going today. I have a bunch of old beehive or bee frames, beehive frames that I've got black comb in. You really don't want to reuse black comb. Well, here's what I've learned. It's not recommended to use old black comb. Every beekeeper does things differently. I am very much new at this. So because we had um, hives that absconded, that pretty much left, um, it's not really, it was recommended to me that I do not reuse this comb because we don't know what made them leave. And it's likely that there's some kind of mess in here that I really don't want to pass on to my newbies that will be here in a couple months. And I'm not gonna take a chance. So I've got quite a few good frames still that have good honey in there. Uh, but um, these old ones that are black, I want to cut this out, which I have done. I've got a big bucket full of it right here. And that is what I'm gonna melt down and turn into beeswax to use for, we can use it for lots of things. So we are gonna get started by taking a stainless steel pot. I am, This is what I use, so I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna put some water in it, probably about, oh, I'd say to here, about a little more than a quarter of the way. You don't want the comb to be touching the bottom of the pot to get burned. Uh, you want it to melt slowly in the water. This is quite a bit for this pot, but it will melt down and it will eventually all fit in there. I'll just have to kind of keep adding it. Now, everything that I've read says it takes like an hour or two for this if you've got everything going. So it might take me a little bit longer. All right, so we've got our pot of water. It's about maybe a little more than a quarter of the way. And I'm gonna turn it up just to get it warmed up. I'm gonna keep it kind of a low to medium while it's cooking it down, but just to warm it up, that's what we're gonna start now. Start with now. And I'm gonna start adding it in here, just tossing it in. And when this is done, wax floats. You can see in here, can you see in there? It's floating now, but what's gonna happen is all the junk that's in there, all the impurities, all the nasty stuff you wanna get out, and there's a lot of nasty stuff in this. Lots. All of that is gonna sink to the bottom. There's gonna be some stuff I'm gonna have to skim out. Um, but when it's done, our finished product will have the wax on the top and then stuff underneath. That is the junk that I'm gonna be scraping off and then the water will be sitting on the bottom. All right, I got the entire bucket in there, filled to the brim. So we'll see what happens here. I think I'm gonna add some more water in here just on top of this. Okay, so take this. Pot's not hot yet, so you can just pour it, kind of go around. Whoop. We made a mess. We made a mess. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down just to like low to medium, and that's gonna sit here. I'm just gonna keep stirring it every once in a while. I'm gonna put a top on it, let it simmer, let it just kind of slowly melt and separate, and keep an eye on it, make sure it's not, like the sides aren't. I don't want the sides to get too hot and then end up burning it, that would be bad. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on it, keep, keep an eye on the temperature, and this'll be quite a long process. So we'll check in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take a peek at this. It's been about an hour. Woo! And it's looking very dark. There's gonna be a lot of junk in here that is gonna have to get skimmed off. But that's what, what we're at right now. So we're getting there. Probably gonna need another hour. Uh, it's been an hour, so we'll do another hour. It's about 2.30 right now. So we'll give it another hour and then check back. 
Okay, so it is now an hour afterwards. It's like four o'clock. So it's more like an hour and a half afterwards. I was busy soaping, so um, trying to get more than one thing done at a time. Make good use of my time here. Uh, I don't see much. I don't know. This is gross. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I have got this like plastic bowl to dry it out there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and skim off all of that gross stuff on top. And I'm going to set that aside because I want to try and cook that down a little bit further. All right, so I'm just going to skim this stuff off and just push put that up there. Push that push the liquid out, which is our wax. Okay, so I don't know what this is really supposed to be looking like in this stage because it's kind of a different situation. I have this really old wax that has a bunch of stuff in it. I mean, it's not just your typical, I don't know, like this frame that I showed you guys, this stuff did not look this good. So I don't really know. This is all just, you know, trial and error and seeing what happens as we go. Um, what I'm gonna do, I think, after I'm done with this process, I'm going to take all of this stuff that I'm dumping off now and just try and cook it down again and see if I can get any more wax out of it. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything, right? So. If it's junk, it's junk, but I'd rather try. I don't want to, you know, not do this and miss out on, you know, having that much extra wax. Okay, so here is what we're left with. If you can see, we've got a good layer on the top that's floating above everything else. I don't know how much that's gonna be. It looks like it's about a quarter of an inch that's gonna be clear and that's gonna be our beeswax. And then the stuff underneath it is the junk that you don't want. And then underneath that, we've got a lot of water in here. So when this hardens, I'm just gonna let this sit, and when this hardens, we'll have a solid brick of beeswax. Hopefully, if I did it right. All right, so that is it for today. That is all I'm gonna do to this today. I'm just gonna let it cool. It's gonna take several hours to cool and totally harden. Uh, and I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like. So we are in day two now of this. Um, it's actually been about a week since uh, I have done anything with this, but I let it sit overnight, and this is what I got. It wasn't much to begin with. You saw it was a, it was actually, what was that? A 12, I can't remember if that was my eight quart or my 12 quart stock pot that I used for that, but it was filled with old comb, and that is what it cooked down to. Now underneath, this was all the stuff that was just kind of a layer on top of this. And I just scraped it off with a little scraper. Like one of my, um, let me find it. Okay, I used like one of these. One of these little things that I use for my cleaning my cast iron. Um, but that, I just used to lightly scrape this just to get everything that was loose on there off. So what I'm gonna do with this now is I'm gonna repeat that whole process over and we might have to do it a second time too for cosmetic grade, which because I use this primarily in soap is what this is gonna be for, I wanna do it three times. So we'll do it three times, we'll do it two more times. I have a lot more wax that I need to make. I have a ton more honeycomb. I decided to clean out all of my frames and start completely from scratch with sanitized frames and everything. So getting rid of all of the comb that I currently have, which is a lot of comb. So we'll be making more of this. 
lots of time to practice. Okay, so here's what we've got after the second rendering. This actually went pretty fast because it's winter and I'm using outside to cool everything. So now I'm taking my little scraper here and I'm just lightly taking the gunk off. And that's what I've got out of it for the second time. So we'll do this again and see what we got. I'm kind of thinking I might need to do this a fourth time. So I'm going to work on this and get it rendered one more time, see what we can do from there. before I stick this onto render that every single time I render this again I'm putting in fresh water I don't want all that junky water that was in here before and also I, I dump it outside I do not want to pour this down my drain I don't want to know what that's gonna to do to my plumbing okay third render is done let's see what we got here oh I sat outside for quite a while well doesn't look a whole lot different than the last time so I'm gonna say we're done with this so I looked this up and I think what I'm gonna have to do is cut this stuff off with something already this small I'm gonna destroy it doing that so I'm gonna melt this down one more time it's definitely not gonna hurt anything and I'm gonna put it in a different container I've got like an old yogurt container and I'm gonna put it in there and then I'll be able to just slice off that end and put it to the side and then I will have my good beeswax that I can use for soap making. Okay, so here is what we got. That is super tiny. I did not have a container big enough to hold everything, so this is what we ended up with which is kind of a waste for this, but I'll do something different with that. This one, see this I can just cut this bit off and then I've got that really nice pretty wax that I can use. Let's check this one out. Ooh, this one's still kind of not totally hard yet. wax this I have heard many many places that all of this stuff you can use an old comb you can use to attract swarms so I'll probably give that a try it's not gonna hurt anything if it doesn't work it doesn't work and see how it goes there it is <laughs> 